Hey guys, welcome to our third and final um, tutorial on our animation based game using Cookie Monster and our cookies. Today we're going to work on our collision detection. So when the cookie um, collides with the Cookie Monster, we add um, points to our game. So what we're going to do now is stop this. and declare our instance variables for our collision detection. So what we need is we need a counter to this keep the score. We also need an NS timer for our game loop. So we'll synthesize those, those um, variables as well. So when our viewer is load, we're going to initiate our game loop. Also set our counter, which is score to zero. Let's copy this and change it. Set the game loop interval to a lower number, so 1 out of 30. And our function name for our game loop is going to be check collision. And it's repeat chess. So we'll define that check collision. Function. Implement it. Run the same. Game loop fire. Trigger the game loop. So now what we want to do is um, loop over the array for um, those cookies and check that um, if there's a collision, um, we increment the score. So if there is a collision, we need to keep track of these collisions because we'll move it from a um, list of cookies.
just gets the, the frame of um, the object in the in the array. This checks if there's an intersection between the cookie monster and that cookie frame. If there is, we increment the counter by one. the counter integer to a string Remove the cookie from the super view. We add the object to our disca discarded item array. So these are all the items that we're going to remove from the existing array. And then we'll remove everything in that discard item array. We also need to define a UI label on this. Controller view. Put that there. Control. Now we can set the score text. We need to synthesize. We need to initialize it.
that sets it to zero. Synthesizer could be right. Let's run that. Let's see what happens. Let's try it again. Failed one more time. Fix it. Now it's succeeded. Let's see what happens. It didn't detect the image collision, or it's not incrementing the um, the UI label properly. So let's stop it and see what went wrong. Let's go to our. View did load. Make sure we initialized everything. Oh, we did not um, initialize our cookie array, which is very, very important. Build and run this now. There we go. Every time it Cookie collides with Cookie Monster, you get a score. If it doesn't, you can notice that the number doesn't increase. So we can do some really cool things with this in terms of optimizing the game as well as increasing the features. But I hope you get the, the point of the collision detection. And I hope you can find it useful and implement it in apps that um, you're thinking of making. So thanks for tuning in to this final tutorial.